Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Next Day Survival, episode three for our series here. I apologize, it's been a little bit since I've been able to get the series up. I've been very busy with uh, just real life stuff and a lot of work going on, but the good news is that Next Day Survival has gotten a lot of updates since then. The developers seem to be uh, very busy with uh, improving and working on the game and fixing all of the bugs that have come about the last uh, week or so of the game being released. Now, uh, the biggest and most exciting update for me was the update that changed the settings, the graphical settings, to English instead of Russian. So I was able to go through and change the settings so that my computer runs a little bit better. I do have a perfectly fine computer. It is not the best computer in the world, but it's definitely not the worst. And you can see down below in the description, the specifications for my computer, if you would like to take a look at those. At some point, I'd like to build myself a more up-to-date computer, but uh, that requires money. And that's something that I'm putting away slowly so I can do that. But uh, for now, we're gonna stick with what I've got. So. One of the most important things to go over that they've changed is that they've added a lot more rooms to the game. And another thing is that if we go into our character here, we'll see that our main character is gone. And that is because, for whatever reason, he is now on the PvE server. I don't really know why. Uh, it wasn't like that before, but it's like that now. So we could play PvE if we wanted to, but you know what we're going to do? We're just going to start another character on the main. And I think this is a fantastic time for us to jump into the game and check out things like the faction system and the quests and everything like that so we're going to start with a brand new character starting right off the top and we're going to check all of that stuff out we'll just go ahead and jump right here into room 140 because it's available and it only holds three out of four people right so oh it's probably full well let's try, let's try another one then yeah so like i said you can see lots of uh Lots of uh, different rooms and lots of players in the game right now. The game has gotten fairly popular over the course of the weekend, which is great because it's a lot of fun. Um, these are all PvE, not really what I want to jump into. Boy, these are all full servers. Now, there's no way to really sort any of this yet, but I assume uh, that's something that they're going to change eventually so that you can do that. Can we get into this room here, room 35? <sighs> we can, good. And uh, not very many players in this one, but we can always jump around to other main servers. We just can't, you only get three characters, your main, uh, your PvP, and your PvE. And you can only jump to those different serv servers with the same character, but you can never take like a PvE character to a PvP or main server. So that's something important to keep in mind. So we could jump into a smaller server now. Well, as we gear up and we do some quests and we learn a little bit about the faction system. And once we're ready, we'll go ahead and jump to a larger server. Maybe we'll do a little bit of player killing. Because it's funny to do. And it's enjoyable. Yeah, it's a pretty good rush. But for now, a smaller server will be perfect for us to gear up. And I like that the servers are different size kind of for that reason. Although I imagine that'll change at some point. I do think it's very cool that they've kind of broken it down to where you could jump into a smaller server and kind of just, you know, play a little bit more with just the NPCs and everything. Now there is the PvE server, of course, and that's perfect. But if you want a little bit of risk then you always got those main servers with a smaller amount of players. Not as high risk as, say, a server with 20 people. The map is fairly small. The developers have said that they intend to increase the size of the map in future updates. We'll just have to see how large it actually gets. But I know that I would be uh, totally for a larger map. I think that was one of the, the things I really enjoyed about DayZ was that the map was extremely large and even though there wasn't always a lot to do it was a lot of empty space it made the world feel a little bit more alive because it was a little bit more realistic it's not like you know towns are right next to each other so well, there's a travel backpack in here i don't know how that got in here but it did so we're just gonna go ahead and pick that right up that was a pretty good find i just figured i'd walk into like the safe zone area here nice so we already got a bigger backpack. That's That means this is going to be a really good run if we're walking into the safe zone and finding backpacks. Maybe it's always there. I don't know. Now, I do know that if you do, I'm just kind of curious now because I found that. So I'm wondering if I'll find other stuff, but I doubt it. I think that was just a weird, that was kind of lucky. Yeah, if you go and talk to the 
NPCs, then you can get quests here. I think this guy over here is the guy we have to talk to. He's going to assign us a quest. And if you go through the quests, I guess you can get some stuff like guns and whatnot. So, let's go ahead. Good luck, brother. I see you haven't been here long. I'm Stas. Stay close. I'll be helping you at first. I have a knife. I'm hiding in the outskirts of the camp. If you bring me some brushwood for campfire, I'll tell you its exact location. Got it. So, we're going to go collect some brushwood. And we can actually go right into the menu here. Click on this and we can see... The first thing, break off some dry branches for a campfire, and that's going to get us a large kitchen knife. Ah, there's that again. Fantastic. That's what happens when tab is the inventory key and shift is the run key. And then you sometimes have incidents like that. All right. This should be fairly simple. I imagine we'll just break some twigs off from some of these bushes here. How many did we have to bring, did it say? Break off some dry branches for a campfire. So I guess just one. For, uh, one maybe bushel or whatever you end up getting. We're going to see right here, right now. Ah, oh, boy. All right. Here we go. Nice. And then if we looked at it, up, it did. There we go. Take the brushwood to Stas. All right. And how much did we get? Perfect for campfire and cooking. So just uh, one item of brushwood. Makes sense. Both those guys just stretched at the same time and did the same type of stretch. Oh, what is it? Okay, I thought there was something there. All right. So, excellent. This will keep us warm tonight. I did promise you a knife. Head north. You'll find it in the bushes behind the tents. It's yours. Come back again, and I... I will always have a job for you, so you'll find it in the bushes behind the tents. Okay. Um, pick up. Yeah, just do it now. Find it in the bushes behind the tents. So here's the tents. Oh, look at that. Nice. It's already starting to get a little dark, too. Something I forgot to mention, too, and I'll bring it up now, is that do keep in mind that for the um, PC that I am running when I got recording software running at the same time you know it can be a little taxing on me although once I get a newer computer at some point that won't be much of an issue cool so quest completed campfire we've got ourselves a knife we could actually oh it is already equipped nice so I guess we'll head right back and just do another quest that's, that's kind of what we're going to do right now is test the whole uh, questing system in the game I would love to get some clothes I wish that there was some inside one of these buildings we could probably trade for some but <laughs> so i'm a medic i'll help you out if the going gets tough guys in the hospital need some medicine wolves ate all the medicine they had oh that's interesting do me a favor go and look for some in the second barrack i got some stash away under the berth i'll return the favor i promise wow so i grab a gauze bandage and sterile cotton and i get a first aid kit except plus some currency too See, these quests are pretty easy. Really, nothing to be too alarmed about. Oh, there's other stuff in here. Can I take this stuff without getting... Like, do I lose faction points or something for taking these? It doesn't look like it. It's almost like there's not, like, a whole lot of stuff laying around, but there's a little bit... I thought I saw it pop up saying there was something around here. Search lockers. Nothing. Sometimes there's gun boxes you can go through as well. Oh, he's walking off on us. Here you go, buddy. Just pick it up now. Okay. All right, this guy's got a quest. I guess consider this like the tutorial as well. All right, okay, you didn't come here in time for the main group. Go towards the abandoned firing range. Wolves have been spotted there. One will be enough for you if you can complete this quest. I'll owe you one. Oh, I get everything to make a gun. A 
metal tube, a board, some insulating tape, a catch bolt. Yeah, I can make a gun with this. We'll accept that. Okay, so we're going to hunt a wolf. We've got a knife, so I guess that's what we're going to use. So let's go do that. I'd imagine I probably got to actually leave. I don't think there's a way out the side. So we'll go out this way. Oh, we can see how many players are in. Just four of us. All right, let's draw our knife. We're looking for one wolf. Oh, there he is. There he comes. No point really in dancing around, I guess. Might as well just be done with it. Oh, he's running. I'm bleeding too, but we'll... Wow, he's really taking off. Oh, here he comes. He's coming back around. Wow, if he kills me, I swear. Wow, he ju we just got him. That was, like, really close. We're definitely going to go right off the bat and use this because I'm pretty sure we're in rough condition. No, we're actually not that bad. Oh, yeah, we are pretty bad. For a second, I thought that was a bear in that bush. I was like, you've got to be kidding me. It's not, though. It's a barrel just, like, randomly rolling out of it. So I need to grab anything? I don't think so. What's this here? Common coal. That's fine. Antibiotics will clean that right up. Yeah, we could make... We could get meat out of them if we wanted to. I mean... I'm not really going to worry that much about it. Can you find any items back here? Probably not. All right, let's just go turn this quest in now that we got the cold. Oh, yeah, look at that. There is some 7.62 ammo. Huh. So it is possible to find some stuff around the vehicles and everything. You In this game, you really got to look because things aren't so like other survival games. Sometimes things are highlighted. So they're a little bit easier to spot out. For example, you know, War Z does that. And then in Day Z, I don't know, items just seem to stand out really well. You know, you got piles of loot everywhere. And you kind of know because everything spawns in the same spot in the same buildings. But in this game, it's just like, it's pretty, sometimes it's pretty tricky. It's really very easy to pass over loot if you're not really looking hard. If you think you're just going to run into a building and scan it real quick and find something, you're gravely mistaken. You'll probably pass it right up. Now this guy, I think he said he'd heal us, right? Where'd he go? But he might have changed his mind. Oh, crap. Because I used up that thing. All right. I spoke to him so hard, he disappeared. Guys float. Everybody's floating now. All right. Let's just talk to this guy. All right, pick up the reward for Beast Hunt. So it's over here. Boy, I feel like you're going to... It's very easy to die before you even complete the quest. Magazine for... Yeah, pick that up. Nice. Oh, it's outside. Well, that's fine. We have to come in here and get some stuff, so it's not like it's a big deal. Ah! So there is some clothes around here. Whether or not we can find antibiotics then is the real question. But I guess it is possible to gear up a little bit around the safe zone. Not a whole lot, but a little bit. If I could find somebody to trade all this stuff in for, I could buy some antibiotics and such. All right. All 
And we're going to head back and turn this stuff in. I need to deal with this cold here soon. There we go. Oh, there's a clinic that hasn't been robbed by looters yet. Take everything you can find from there. Be quiet, though. There are all sorts of people there. You might even shoot you. Take whatever you can find to Stas. He'll pay you for the job. Reward. Okay, so we start getting protective suits. Quest items. Okay, I'll accept it. Okay, well, that's great, but I'm in no position to do this just yet. Put a board here, bolt, there we go, collect. We'll go ahead and craft a makeshift rifle. So that gives us our first gun at least. And we should have plenty of 9 by 19 yeah, we've got a ton. Who can I trade with? Hide the weapon to talk. I was imagining that I could trade. I just don't know who I can. Because I'm in pretty rough condition. I need some stuff. I guess not. No. Well, we can go start doing this quest at least. I need to go get some gear. Like it's pretty important that I go get some gear. Here we go. See, there's some stuff around here. Can I pick it up? I gotta wait till I'm cough done coughing. Okay, let's go ahead and drink these sodas. Hypothermia. It's hard to stay uh, hard to stay warm sometimes in this game. It's a metal tube there. Especially when nighttime falls. In fact, if you're an early game character like I am right now, sometimes it's best to just log out when nighttime comes. Because it gets that bad. I'm wondering if I go inside this, this guy's medical building, if I could steal antibiotics or something. Oh, we got a mask, so that's good. Doesn't really do us any good now. Guy seems pretty upset at me about something. What do we got here? Maybe something better. Sneakers and black sweats. Jogging shoes and gray pants. I'm pretty sure I'm fine with what I got. Yeah, you can look all over the, sa the safe place and camp and find stuff. Alright. Uh, Alright. Let's grab this up real quick and use it. Probably definitely gonna die. <laughs> Guy named Squirts threatening everybody in the chat. Okay. Don't think I'm gonna find anything else of use. I guess we might as well head towards the clinic. At least I could get some medical supplies there. Ton of people here, so they're probably gonna. Somebody's probably gonna try to follow me out and kill me. You know, maybe that's a good thing though, because I can kill him. No nope, helicopter, so there's an airdrop coming. All right, let's go ahead and head out towards the clinic. We'll just hope for the best. Yeah, the helicopter signifies an airdrop coming. If we wanted to look, we could look at the map and see wherever it drops. It hasn't dropped yet, though, so that's why we don't see it. Alright, we're going to draw the gun. Because I have a bad feeling about leaving the safe zone. I don't see anybody following us, so that's good. 
But we're going to shoot on sight if we see anyone. Make sure we're definitely loaded. Yeah, one round. Cool. All right. Enough to scare somebody off. Maybe kill them. Maybe if I get lucky. I decided to go ahead and just kind of fast forward us to pretty much outside the clinic. I also jumped servers because the other server we were in was, uh, uh nighttime was descending and I didn't want the screen to get too dark so people couldn't see. So I just did a quick server hop and I ran all the way here and, uh, skipped all the foot slogging that was pretty much worthless. So here we are. I kind of want to go through some of these houses here because we're hurting for food, water, and medical supplies. And it looks like we have a macro off here. So already getting kind of lucky. I would love, like I'm finding a lot of food, but I would really like to find some medical supplies. Vitamins would help. Oh, I gotta tell you what, though, we're we're definitely hurt, hurting here. So whether we not whether or not we find supplies, medical supplies, that is, will decide. Oh, oh, oh! This guy's gonna. Oh. Alright, totally thought he was probably going to kill us. Is he a player? He is, and he didn't kill us. Well, I'll just, uh... I'll just let him be. He totally could have shot me in the head there and killed me. I mean, I was in the middle of looting a drink when he came around, so... I'm the kind of person who I love to kill people uh, when I run into them, but I definitely am not... I know when I was, um... I was given mercy, and that, at that particular moment, I was given mercy, so I'm not going to take any chances there. Plus, we found some painkillers and such anyways inside this place, so... Ah, oh, we aren't really in pain, though. We just have severe hypothermia and the common cold. Um, and we can store water in that, but we don't have water. Okay, but we found a medium backpack. That's pretty much it. So that guy actually ran to the clinic, which means he's probably going to loot it. Um, but let's go that way. Yeah, so he definitely could have, I mean, he has a pistol right there. Whether or not he's got ammo for it, I mean, it's not really me to be the judge of that, but I assume he uh, definitely could have uh, absolutely wrecked me if he had ammo and wanted to. I mean, he's standing right there. Oh, whatever, he might still kill me. I mean, it's definitely him. I don't know, maybe he knows I'm doing the quest. Or maybe he knows I'm sick and he's just leaving the supplies here for me. It's kind of nice of him. Um, I'm supposed to turn these vitamins, painkillers, and antibiotics in, but I'm going to be honest with you. I think I'm just going to take the antibiotics. <laughs> it kind of puts me in a really bad situation, though, right? Because then I've got to find more. We can look around and see if we can find more. Why couldn't it have been painkillers? See, there's no more antibiotics in here, so what do we do? Do I take them to get better and then just maybe server hop? I'm going to take them because if I die, then um, that's not going to do me any good for the quest anyways. So that should help clear up my hypothermia. You can see the cold's already getting a lot better. We can always come back and explore this place. I'm sure there'll be antibiotics. I played by myself one day and I found like five things of antibiotics in there. So I'm confident that antibiotics is not a rare item. While we're at it, we'll go in here because if we can find a med kit, which is right there, we can use it to heal up, which we're in pretty rough condition. And this actually has antibacterial too. So really all we needed was this, but you know what? We're going to use it. Now, using a med kit's definitely pretty much saying, shoot me in the face, I want to die. Because as you can see, we can't even freaking move forever. But yeah, oh, I can't look at it now. I was going to look at it and see. 
But yeah, we can see that it's doing a lot of good for us. Hopefully we'll heal up our common cold. And The hypothermia is something we're going to have to deal with by... Uh, by actually uh, finding a shirt for one would be helpful. There's some milk, so that'll deal with our thirst. We can fill up this plastic bottle. And we can use charcoal tablets to clean it up. Let's see, how's this? Health's better. So whether or not we shake this hypothermia and cold, we'll decide on whether or not we live. Okay, we're going to take that. All right, here we go. Some soda, canned corn, let me guess, another medium backpack. Plastic bottle we could fill. And that's pretty much it, so this was a pretty good find. I don't know where that guy went. Hypothermia is still a little rough. I need a shirt. That's what I need. I need like a sweatshirt. I need some type of shirt. I could check the apartment buildings up there. That'd be a pretty good spot. I'll check this house right here. See what I can find. It's looking a little rough for us, but we're making do. Um, collar down jacket black. Finally. There we go. That should help lift up our hypothermia and everything because we're not going to be as cold anymore think we're gonna be all right I do I really think we're gonna make it Hey, bricks cool don't know what they do I'm sure they build something sterile cotton can be useful so we still need to find antibiotics okay here's what we're gonna do then we're out of time we're at fact we're way over time so we're gonna cut it off here right inside this building I think this is a safe place to cut it and then next time we'll be on the search for the antibiotics so we can complete the quest and you can see here hypothermia and everything's restoring, so that's good. So it looks like we're going to heal up nice and uh, good here. But yeah, so thank you guys for joining me for this one. I do hope you've enjoyed it, and I look forward to seeing you next time.